Corporates have a huge responsibility. They play a bigger role to society and they have to pay attention to global and common goals and to see how they will address them in the long run. Otherwise, they will lose the uh, contact with the clients and their um, corporate fame. The big change we have right now is a shift from corporates to investors. People realize that if we want to change things uh, quickly, we have to look at investors because they allocate resources. Amundi was uh, created nearly 10 years ago and it became uh, the first European asset manager but with a global reach worldwide and one of the world top 10 asset managers. We have more or less 1.5 trillion euros of AUM as of today and already around 280 billion euros of responsible investments. The banking sector and, and financial institutions and mostly corporate investment banks uh, started to pay attention to the project they were financing and the environmental and social conditions of these projects. Since the creation of Amundi, we've put in place a scoring system with which we uh, give a grade, an ESG grade, environment, social and governance issues to any corporate. With the setup of SDGs uh, in 2015, we uh, looked at it, of course, and incorporated all the SDGs in our ESG framework. We have, for instance, a Green Bond Impact Fund, by which we can report monthly on the CO2 emissions avoided by a million of euros invested. The social issues tend to be more complicated, but of course we have to address them because these are as key as the climate and environmental one if we want to have a positive impact on the stability of economies and societies. We focused two, three years ago on food chain transparency or child labor in the cocoa industry. And uh, of course, we made studies, research, identified good practices, practices that really had to disappear, worked with corporates. And yes, indeed, uh, there was some progress made. We made a study on the living wage. And so how corporates can pay attention to the salary they give to their employees along the entire value chain and also what their chain production, how they, they pay their own uh, employees in different countries because we think this is very important and this, this is a key question for economic and society stability. Amundi has a rather limited exclusion list and this exclusion list of corporates we don't want to invest in uh, are mostly linked to controversial arms production, for instance, or to big human rights breaches also linked to coal mining or coal production. So what's important, I would say, is not the level where you start, but the global impact you will have, and also the net impact you will have, because sometimes, of course, a corporate will have a positive impact on one SDGs, but negative impact on others, and we have to pay attention to that. I'm absolutely convinced that in the years to come, it will be generalized, and it will be taken on by other asset managers. Why? because it's just efficient. It's, the, it's an efficient way to reward our clients with a good performance and to protect them by avoiding a big controversy, uh, corporate image risks, and also economic risk in the investment they make. And I would say corporates listen to us because when you manage 1.5 trillion euros, you have an impact.